Hey guys, Tech717 here. Day two of my CI knockoff cigar review. Blind taste test, if you will. Today, I'm gonna to be smoking the second cigar. Still don't know which is which, although I, I have to admit, I got a pretty good idea. So, second cigar. Thank you. Here it is. Hmm. Ooh, pretty similar aroma. Cedar, but this one's almost got kind of like a sweet cream aroma to it. I was thinking that yesterday's was the knockoff, and I said that in the video. Mostly just due to the shape. See how this one has a little bit more of a taper to the top? I, I should have picked a cigar that was a little bit less recognizable. But the wrapper on this one isn't quite as nice, except the one yesterday had a little bit of an imperfection at the top. This one, a little bit on the toothy side. Definitely a firmer pack than uh, the one yesterday. All right, let's go ahead and get cut. Kind of almost a little bit of a raisiny, sweet, but still a little bit woody pre-light draw. Let's get lit. First thought, it is similar to the other cigar. There's a little bit more, there's not as much cedar. There's a little bit of sweetness and the mouth feel is much different. It's kind of a silky, almost oily feeling in your mouth. The other one had that kind of dry honey flavor, if you recall. This one, a lot different mouth feel and the flavors seem a little bit more muted. That's about all I got. We'll smoke it down a little bit. Check in with you again. We are 20 minutes in. As you can see, beautiful ash, holding together quite nicely. Not quite a perfect burn, but pretty even. The flavors, they're not quite as muted as they were before. That silky, kind of oily mouthfeel, still there. There's obviously a little bit of a cedar flavor, but a really subtle vanilla note in there as well. Honestly, it's a mild cigar. It's, it's not even reaching up into a medium right now. So the flavors are, like I say, they're real subtle. So I have to say that we've just basically got, yeah, just like that cedar, a little bit of vanilla, really smooth tobacco. It is pretty similar to the other cigar that I smoked, but the flavors are almost a little bit more basic. Tonight, because the last one seemed like it paired so well, it would pair so well with coffee, I went ahead and brewed myself a cup. Even though it's late, because I'm so freaking tired that when I'm done with this cigar, I'm just gonna go to sleep anyways. I don't care if there's caffeine in there. This is just about the last of the, uh, the Freedom Blend. It's kind of interesting this time. It, I, I finished brewing it and I didn't think anything was going to happen this time. Then as the uh, steam was rising up from the cup, it manifests itself in the face of uh, James Mattis, who kind of rose up out there to tell me that even though the bag was almost empty, freedom doesn't end there. So, Black Raffle Coffee Company. Go check them out. That's about all I have to say about the cigar so far. We'll keep smoking it, check in with you about the halfway point, let you know how it goes. Take a look at that. About 50 minutes in, I'd say that's the halfway point, and that is a single solid ash. This thing is smoking phenomenally, and it just kind of solidifies my thoughts yesterday that that was probably the knockoff, and this is probably the Monte Cristo, because this is just the most beautiful ash I think I maybe have ever seen. It's been years since I've smoked a Monte Cristo, and that's kind of why I chose this one. But I've never, I don't think I've ever smoked the number two. Honestly, I'm not a fan of the shape. I did like the shape of the one yesterday better. This one just kind of sits in your mouth a little weird, the narrow tip of it. But again, it is smoking phenomenally. The burn is just about perfect. The flavors have really kind of come into their own in this last third. And it's... Honestly, it is really similar to the cigar I smoked yesterday, and it's 
the cedar, that small hint of vanilla, and even that kind of honey flavor is there in this cigar as well. It's just, it's presented in a little bit different way. The cigar yesterday was a little drier mouthfeel. This one, it's still that really rich, silky, oily mouthfeel. So it really feels like the, the flavors are kind of laying on your tongue. The finish is longer than the one yesterday. It's still not a super long finish. It's really not. But it is definitely longer than the last cigar. Not super complex. Very well balanced. Very mild. It, it is still mild. It's, it's maybe ramping up closer to a medium at this point, closer than it was before. That was a beautiful lash, and now it's gone. Oh well. It does pair well with the coffee, but honestly, I think it would pair well with just about anything you were doing. I mean, just, you know, not something too strong. Don't, don't drink bourbon with it or something like that. It's going to completely overpower all the flavors in the cigar. Still going strong. I'll smoke it down the rest of the way, and we'll check in one more time for the finale. All right guys, it is an hour and 20 minutes. Couple developments in flavor. There's kind of a toasty earth flavor here in the last third. It's it's a little harsh on the, the palate, not quite as much as the, the last cigar was, but it is a little different. It's kind of like a sweet, toasty earth flavor, I'd say. This cigar has been an excellent performer. A Little bit tighter draw than I wanted, but still smooth throughout, excellent burning, beautiful ash the whole way through. Super subtle, well-balanced flavors. The only thing that I didn't care for much is just the shape. The way that it kind of sits in your mouth is really odd. I don't know, just a personal preference thing. Wasn't a fan of that. The mildness of it lends itself to just about any occasion, really, aside from drinking whiskey, I guess. This one's not quite as smoky as the last one was. Definitely a little smoother, I think, overall. So, let's find out which cigar was which. Yeah, okay. That was the Monte Cristo. <clears throat> the one I smoked yesterday was, like I thought, the knockoff. So, not really a huge surprise. I know I kind of ruined it because I was pretty sure which was which. My fault, I know. I'll try and be a little bit more, keep my blinders on a little bit next time I do one of these, but it was pretty obvious to me which was which. That being said, the flavors are honestly pretty comparable, I will say. I was, I don't know if surprise is the right word, but impressed. I'm impressed at how similar the flavors are. Obviously, the, the smoothness, the mouthfeel is different, uh, the burn time is different, the draw was different. Uh, a little bit tighter pack on this one, made for a little bit longer smoke time. Uh, what else? I mean, <clears throat> this one had a little bit more complex flavors. The other ones didn't really change all that much throughout the cigar. But let's think, think of it this way. Two of these cigars cost as much as the bundle of 20 that I bought of the knockoffs. So, price point, the other one is definitely the winner. But for any kind of Monte Cristo diehard, you're you're gonna know the difference right off, I will say that. But let's not forget, the knockoffs had an incredible performance. I mean, sure, the ash didn't hold on for two and a half inches like this one did, but they held together well. There was almost a perfect burn all the way through until that point where it kinda went out on me, but who knows, that might have been my fault, I don't know. Still impressive either way, because I bought those things on sale, and you can find them pretty often on sale on cigarsinternational.com. <clears throat> they were a buck fifty a stick. I mean, that's incredible value. And if you like mild cigars, for that price, you're not gonna find anything better, I don't think. I'm impressed with the performance, I'm impressed with the way that they were able to replicate the flavors and have a good smoking cigar. Is it as good as the Monte Cristo? Probably not. But it's a fraction of the cost, so it is really impressive. I am impressed, I will say. There you have it. If you're from Scars International and you're watching this video and you like the way that I did my review, shoot me a message because I would like to do more of them. There you have it guys, my official knockoff versus the real thing Monte Cristo. Happy smoking.